What's the dumbest thing you've ever done solely because you were too awkward to do the normal thing? One time I saw watermelons at the store in a big box labeled 19 cents. I, stupidly, thought this meant the watermelons were 19 cents each. I put 8 in my cart. Imagine my surprise, then, when the cashier rang up my watermelons for 30 some odd dollars. Baffled, I just stared at him and realized it was 19 cents per pound. I was too awkward and embarrassed to tell the cashier I misunderstood or changed my mind, so I just accepted my watermelony fate. I ate watermelon for breakfast and lunch and dinner. I made watermelon margaritas and watermelon sorbet. There isn't a watermelon recipe on Pinterest I didn't consider. It was halfway through the watermelon fiasco, after complaining about the stupid watermelon for days, that I realized that, even if they had been only 19 cents, I still bought too many goddamn watermelons. I said bye to someone, and we both walked toward the elevators in the hospital. It was just too awkward for me, so I proceeded to take the stairs down 12 flights instead. Edit, there was only one elevator in that wing of the hospital. So I didn't want to just go down a few floors, because I might run into them again. I also didn't want to have to wait for the elevator to go down, and then come back up again. In French class in high school everyone was talking over the teacher and she just couldn't get control over the classroom, and she was getting increasingly frustrated, and so was I just a whole room full of swelling talk and stuff. I wanted to tell everyone to quiet down but for some reason it got fucked up inside my brain and I barked like a dog. Or, sort of like a dog. Just a deep guttural noise. Everyone stared at me. The teacher asked if I was okay. I was so embarrassed. Bonus points. I did this on two occasions. I don't know what's wrong with me. Edit. Paul is Paul Hollywood. His gaze haunts me from far away whenever I'm baking at home. Since people keep mentioning it. I was walking in the hallway in middle school and dropped my binder as cool kids the grade below me were walking by. Instead of just picking it up I decided it would be cooler to barely even care and kick my binder across the hall towards the classroom I was going in. It instead spread its contents everywhere. Accidentally took the plastic tube home from the bank drive through I don't know why, but I couldn't bring myself to take it back, even though it would've been funny and not embarrassing at all. A couple days later the bank called and asked if I had the tube. I said no of course. They totally knew it was me because of the cameras. Never gone to that branch again. I'm late but here we go. This was back when I first started dating my girlfriend, now wife of 18 years. We were probably 17 at the time. We were at my parents house, nobody else home, chilling in my room. When I got that old familiar rumble in my gut letting me know it was time to take a shit. The problem, at least in my mind, was that the only bathroom was right across the hall from my bedroom. I thought there is no way I can let her hear me ripping ass, let alone smell the funk that was sure to follow. So I said, hey, I'm thirsty, I'm going to run down to the kitchen and grab something to drink. I'll be right back. I booked it downstairs, whipped out the trash can in the kitchen pulled down my pants and commenced to take the quickest shit of my life. I wiped my ass with a few napkins, dropped them in, and then hauled the bag out to the dumpster. Ran back in the house thinking my plan worked, and there she was, waiting for me in the kitchen, along with the foulest shit smell you could imagine. Thinking quickly I said, can you smell that? The dog pooped on the floor, so I ran it out to the dumpster. She said, yeah, what's wrong with him? It smells like human shit. I was like, I know. Let's get out of here, grabbed a pop from the fridge, and went back upstairs. Still haven't told her to this day. I was at a neighbor's house making friends with the people who had just moved in, when I suddenly felt the call of nature deep in my belly. So I had two options. I could either make this fact known and use the facility like a person, or I could initiate a game of hide and seek. And while my friend hid, I could pinch a loaf in the corner of his backyard. Apparently I took too long, because he stopped hiding, came and found me, and immediately told his parents. 
The best part is, I could have walked to my house, it was in the cul-de-sac across the street. Also, any time I had to cross the road as a kid, if there was a car in view that would have to stop for me, I would pretend like I didn't need to cross and keep walking. One day I was walking after school let out, and the cars just kept coming. So I kept walking. Walked all the way around the entire neighborhood twice, before I could cross the street without inconveniencing random drivers. I even waved them on if they looked like they would stop for me. I was once smoking in my garden, and heard my front door open. Now knowing no one was supposed to be home I immediately thought the worst, oh no, a burglar. Because of my stupid paranoia instead of going in and seeing who it was like a normal person I decided to climb up to my bedroom window. I climbed up the fence, breaking it as I did so, and scrambled up the window ledge and peered in my room to see my brother furiously jacking off in our shared bedroom. He glanced up at me and shouted oh I, what the fuck are you doing? I just let myself drop from sheer embarrassment and stupidity, luckily not hurting myself too badly, except from a twisted ankle. Now's my time to shine. I confined myself to my room for three quarters days to avoid talking to relatives I had never met before. They were visiting and staying in the house. I drank water from the bathroom tap and snuck downstairs to get food when they were gone out for the day. They flew back to the US without having met me. This is embarrassing, but the best stories usually are. My first week as a freshman at a Catholic high school. It is also new to me. I had to adhere to a dress code which meant pastel button down shirt, khaki pants, belt, tucked in, tie, blazer, etc. I'm sitting in math class zoning out and thinking about cute girls in my grade when I hear my name called. Would you like to do this proof on the board? Like I had a fucking choice. Normally this is a non-issue, but I look down after snapping out of my daydream and notice I have massive erection. Now as a newcomer to Catholic school education, I had yet to learn the classic wasp and tuck technique, so in an effort to buy time, I reluctantly started moving at absolute half of a half of a snail's pace. Now another unfortunate side effect of being in the first week of freshman year. No one knows any one point so everyone is looking at each other like who the fuck is this weird turtle guy? I'm not exaggerating. When I say it took a full 45 seconds for me to fully stand up from my desk in the second row. I proceed to hunch back towards the blackboard bent over enough to hide the tent I was pitching from my bitch of a teacher and the entire class. I painstakingly work my way through the proof and thinking what is more of a boner killer than algebra. Hope that it would have gone away but alas no, it was still flying at full staff. So I bend over even lower like a 90 year old geriatric with chronic back problems and waddle my way to my desk and stupidly put too much force on the top of the top heavy desk when I get to it, consequently toppling the desk and myself over and falling to the ground the whole class laughs at this weirdo with a massive boner on the ground under a desk. It would have actually have been less awkward for me to say teacher I have massive erection right now there is no way. In fuck I'm standing up to do that problem. I'm really bad at conversations with strangers when I can't hear them well. Person, where's the washroom? Me, pardon? Person, where's the washroom? Me, haha <laughs> yeah person, no no, do you know where the washroom is? Me, oh haha <laughs> person, never mind. I accidentally got on the bus going in the opposite direction from where I wanted to go, and instead of getting off at the first stop, after I realized this, or the next 20 stops, I rode the entire route. Just because I didn't want anyone to know what I did, not that they would have anyways. You have had an appointment with the soup doggo. It has made nice hot soup for you. Like and subscribe to show your appreciation of the soup.